The Tagya? Everyone's dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What, do? what is go- What the hell is going on? What in the blue hell am I looking at? Who the hell was that? Somebody tell me what the hell's going on! Let's not waste any more time and check out the special program for Genshin Impact version 4.2. Ikuzo! Uh, hopefully, no hiccups. Though it appears that you've managed to win over part of the crowd, some of your testimony doesn't add up. You can be rest assured that I, Farina, the God of Justice, will get to the bottom of this matter. No detail shall escape me. Yes, that sounds perfect. A God must be firm. A God must not allow any detail to slip through the cracks. <clears throat> My dear citizens, just as the will of a god remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals, so too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I will now speak to the defendant. If you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's next? <sighs> It's Is she so practicing or some kind? How people are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Yep. Nervulet. Definitely training. <laughs> practicing. As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations. It, is there something that you need in? If you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make an appointment with Sir Intendant Shavalmaran in advance. Trailer According time. to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal, the Hydro Archive to be punished by what? the death sentence. Death sentence? What the hell is going on? You and I both know that there may be issues with the primordial sea. Everyone on the street who happened you, to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Oh boy, this this is getting dark. Gods be all powerful. What's done is done. People are starting to doubt Lena already. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Eleganto. The show begins. Oh. Wait, did she just henshin? Did she just henshin? Oh, Charlotte. Change the music style already. And yeah, she's still attacking with her camera. I saw, I saw I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange on the same. There's something on this now. Is this a Amazing Spider-Man 2 reference? I... Was that an Amazing Spider-Man 2 reference? Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true do not resist. This judgment is there. New enemy, new weekly bosses? You have never been as superficial as you have presented to us. No more excuses. Then why should we acknowledge it? Why did you deceive us? Oh boy, this is getting done. This isn't right! The trial of the Hydro Archon! The floor will now be in! I now understand the true purpose behind this position. Story's getting dark, I can see it. What you the? Are a devious one, 
Tatavia? Everyone's Whoa, 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 whoa! What, what? Do? what is go- What the hell is going on? What in the blue hell am I looking at? Who the hell was that? I Someone tell me who the hell was that? That belongs to you. All will eventually end. What the hell is going on? Innocent and dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these five hundred years. What the hell's going on? Somebody tell me what the hell's going on! Oh my god. I need, I need, I need a thought process on this. Whoa. That was... There's so much going on, man. What the hell? <sighs> there's so much going on. Sheesh. Well, looks like Genshin has finally the pulled the trigger to go... We going dark, baby. We going dark. Oh my gosh. I need. I need. I need. There better be a lot, a lot of explanation um, after uh, in the special program that because there's a lot going in that one trailer, man. There's a lot. Like what the hell? Like Furina has uh, can henshin. Nama. Uh, Hey travelers! I'll, I'll shut up. Welcome I'll shut up right to the Genshin now. Genshin Impact version 4.2 special program. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by two guests to bring you the latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourself? All right. Yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey everyone, I'm Amberly Connors, the voice of Farina, and oh, I am super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine. And as the story continues, how will this special god of Earth of Crisis foretold in the prophecy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. I mean, I sure am. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm Hello, Ray. How are you doing? My, my name is Ray Chase, and I'm the voice of Nivellet, the Dragon Sovereign of Water and Udex of Fontaine. I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more of him in version 4.2. Yes, but. for sure. Totally. Yep. Okay, so next, let's dive into the major content that we have coming in version 4.2. In the intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, mm -hmm. you know, she's really busy as Fontaine's Archon, and... She's a pretty big celebrity at the Opera House. Mm -hmm. So, the special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's recent plans? Let me guess. She's going to be going to trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> she Actually, trials? What the hell? About right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary seems pretty packed, so let's take a look at the first item. Oh, looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. There is nothing more important to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different from the usual. Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. I know. Aqua Quest I know. chapter. I keep looking yeah. at the water rushing I in. Know. Like, what's happening? Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. like there's some spotlights and like it's like a, a curtain. Mm -hmm. This might be a long like, Aqua Quest. You know, Maybe also Nouvellet is keeping an eye on things from, from yeah. behind the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's always keeping an eye on stuff and always <laughs> just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, in version 4.2, travelers will get to experience Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Travelers will gradually unveil new facts behind this crisis and encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. Ooh. I know. I know. Ooh, swirling depths. <laughs> Very spoopy. Uh, right. So, you know, the prophecy in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. Mm -hmm. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we've faced in our journey through to that. 
Definitely. In version 4.1, we learned about this precarious situation involving the rising primordial seawater. Nevelet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede. Yeah, I know that. The water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis was averted by Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. Though, we probably can't dismiss the assistance provided by the Nave either. True. Whatever her end goal may be, it seems like she sincerely wants to save Fontaine from the prophecy. But there's only so much that we yeah. can say. <laughs> Travelers will have she to She definitely has her own reason of saving Fontaine. Discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. The knave could either yes, be an anti exactly. anti-hero or an so anti-villain sure as of this point. Uncover hidden truths and witness this epic chapter of Fontaine's history for yourself when Act 5 of the Archon Quest becomes available. Sounds good. So yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, question. Have we forgotten a pretty important character who's been missing from the Fortress of Meripede? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you mean Child. Oh, right. Yeah. Child. Yeah. Where's Child? Uh, we searched all over the fortress for him. <laughs> yep. I, I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. <laughs> Not ideal, but it's mm, fine. <laughs> it's what it is. I mean, he uh, did appear in the trailer. We saw Child appear at the end of the last version of Archon Quest, so it probably won't be long until we see him again. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> but we really need to talk about Farina. What? She's confronted Why? with a crisis. <laughs> no, we let's face. Because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course. Fontaine will have the Traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, well, just like the prophecy itself, all will be revealed at the fated time. But right. knowing Farina, perhaps she'll have made some preparations. Mm. Huh. Once again, disappointed. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> no way. Come on, guys, have some faith. <laughs> Okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. <laughs> Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? <sighs> you must be stunned and at a loss for words. <laughs> Understandable. It is I, after all. Fontaine's most beloved star, Farina. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love her outfit! Mm. Yes, oh, and, and her eyes, like, each of them are different. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. <laughs> oh, you know, it's amazing! You'd expect for a Hydro Archon that she'd have the best drip. Really? Oh! oh. Yes. Really? <laughs> Ray, really? <laughs> okay, you know what? It seems as if she's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip, Let's take a look at her combat abilities. <laughs> ah, finally, an explanation of how her combat works. <sighs> Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? I just realized she just henshin again. Let yeah, again, henshin. <laughs> Whoa, that is wow. so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the way she kind of like bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very much. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Mm -hmm. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her presence really fills the stage. Everyone else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait, so... The creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the phantom or aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus, and they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Oh my gosh, no, the octopus is even wearing a hat. Yep, what on the right hand side of the screen. Little gentleman. Um, a uh, correction uh, here, Sarah. They're a bit oh. different from Phantom or Aberrants, uh, okay. I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, they even help manage her daily affairs. Yes. What? <laughs> exactly. So, Farina often invites guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. 
And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Aww. Salon Solitaire, mm -hmm. okay. And she even gave each member a name. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. Okay. So you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. Mademoiselle Crabaletta, <laughs> okay. The crab, the one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. okay. And then you've got the housekeeper, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Cheval oh, Moran. Okay. And I'm gonna have difficulty remembering these names. Gentilhomme Usher. Oh. And that last one is a stickler for pride. Oh. Okay. Okay. So when Farina said to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, this is who she was referring to. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh this God. one. Wow. I didn't know it was so cute. Exactly. Farina even makes him spew bubbles in her idol animation. Cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, Amber, why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, you got it. Do Yay! it. So, Farina is a hydro sword user. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. She usually defaults to an Usia Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire. Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's oh, so basically, cute. she's a summoner. Um, and you know, these um, salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Nice. Their damage increases the more characters there are in the party over a certain HP amount. Of course, it's based on okay, HP. Okay, I was listening to all that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So uh, I definitely she has it. more than one alignment? Yes, yes. Exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical damage, she just but it also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Based on what we just Numa. saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Did she just Farina's henshin? elemental skill changes. I'm trying to keep an eye on her. Yeah, she just henshin. That's cool. Uh, it's super she just cool. henshin. Uh, after Farina uses her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. She heals uh, as yes. well? Okay. The summons created by Farina's elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even after Farina is switched out. What? Farina's elemental burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. And when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. What? <laughs> oh, fanfare points? <laughs> so, um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, okay. it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Totally. It's all I about the performance, the huh? In my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. And um, due to her knowledge of deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the xenochromatic Fontamar aberrants. Ooh. Well, that's um, cool. That yeah, <laughs> and that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Oh, it's the secret <laughs> lurking in the depths. Well, that's cool. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. What? Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, what? I actually saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches between the Arca. Okay, yeah. definitely yeah. unique. I, you're correct. But then again, okay. she's the Aqua, I, I, but, you know, Hydro Aqua and so it's kind of, yes. so yeah. fair enough. Yes, uh, so they have to make her as unique as possible. Then be sure to accompany her on her story quest. The and okay, she's getting a. Funa ah, will amazing. be getting her um, story quest. Okay. And so this is definitely. Up, um, the requirement to unlock this story quest is you have to clear. Um, Archon Quest Chapter, um, chapter 4, right. Act 5. It's Charlotte! Without a shovel Yay. now. <laughs> Alright, so let's not forget about Charlotte, Charlotte as well. For a while now. The traveler met her and I didn't think need to check out her character there more right after this. on an adventure all over to that. Yes, that's right. Charlotte's heart. I mean, we, we first met her in uh, version 3.7. Really leave an impression, don't they? Yeah. That's right. 
During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Ridesley? Yeah. Though she didn't end that up getting the last... that she wanted in the end, huh? But I don't think that will deter her. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its contents and the truths they contain. Ooh. Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Very. They better not put Charlotte in the second half the of the of the friends, character we should Charlotte's some talent for photography is truly a marvel. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. The peerless Monsieur Verite turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact. Many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Oh, that's so cool. And Monsieur Verte is so cute. He even has his own little hat and tie. <laughs> I know. Charlotte oh, they're talking about the camera. Both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Verte's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, oh. that is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verite. Yes, it really does. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, let's yes. Do it. If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. She's literally. I see why you did that, Hoyavus. I see what you did there. Say cheese! Yeah, she's really attacking with her camera. Breaking news! Which means she's definitely a Catalyst user. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yes, she okay. is really, like, moving around. Yes! Honestly, it's just she's definitely a Catalyst a user. For the Steambird. Even her combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, and yet, like, what a lively character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, mm -hmm. and that includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite, she captures enemies from all angles, unleashing okay. attacks while discovering and exposing their weaknesses. Yes. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could use them as a weapon. <laughs> Same. The more you know, I guess. Okay, here's some cool stuff. Charlotte's elemental skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect's duration, marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Wow. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strengthens these effects and applies focused impression to opponents yeah, instead. It's kind of similar as how Nahi does um, elemental a skill flash field that continuously similar. restores HP to party members within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine characters, she receives a cryo damage bonus. Interesting. Now that is not all. There is more. <laughs> During the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. When Charlotte activates the Zoom Lens, it will trigger her passive talent called First Person Shutter. Oh my gosh, that's When you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. Dude. That is so cool. That's yeah. an interesting that feature. That is super rad, and you know, I have a feeling some super cool pictures are going to come out of that. Oh yeah. We are going to provide more information about the zoom lens and how to use it during the event overview portion. So, right. Farina and Charlotte will both nice. be featured in version 4.2 nice. of Ben. Farina Wish and Charlotte in the same Ooh. face. In the first half of version 4.2, we'll have event wishes showcasing Farina and Baiju. During this time, Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Huge boost. <laughs> huge right. boost. A new five star sword, Splendor of Tranquil Waters will be featured in the weapon event banner. And... Heat sword. <laughs> Lord. Really, and Ray? Really? The second half of version I wonder what's the effect of the, we'll of the sword, though. We'll have reruns for Sino and Ayato. Hmm. Okay, Skip. let's take a look at what other information Skip. you can learn from Farina's itinerary. I'm not into hmm, sausages, so skip. Investigating something. Ooh. Oh, 
there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay, I will. It says strange rumblings. Have what the hell am I looking at? Of Fontaine's water. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, this is definitely a new weekly already? boss. Oh, wow. Wow. What wait, the wait, hell wait, am wait, I wait, looking wait, at? Look into the sea of pink and blue stars. That's so pretty. Oh, I remember this whale. I recognize this whale. Wait, yeah, yeah. Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's Vision at the end of mm -hmm. the version 4.1 Archon Quest? And to top yeah, it off, right? The same one. This might be After the same whale as when we fought um, Tataglia in the uh, in the weekly boss fight. Long last, broken the seal and descended upon Fontaine. Ooh. Oh my it's, goodness gracious! It's real big, big. It uh, it feels like it might even burst straight through the. Buddy, screen. how in the blue oh, hell are we gonna fight <laughs> this <laughs> creature? Uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force our way through, you know. That's exactly. the thing. There's no way we can in brute force this enemy. It will use its gigantic size to target the traveler with massive AOE attacks from all directions. Dodging is definitely your friend with this one. Oh, oh boy. Crap. Um. Okay. 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 Dodging. So there also seems to we be have sort of a progress bar next to the boss's HP mm. bar. Yeah. What's that for? Okay. Okay, the, okay that it. circle no, bar reminds me of um, the Raiden Shogun the um, bar when uh, doing a boss fight. Anger. Destroy so the Eye of Maelstrom. find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Mm. Oh, this is going to okay. be a lengthy Wait, boss is, fight. Is somebody being eaten? Is, uh -oh. it, is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess here it is. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> This is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new okay. enemy here with a massive sword. Okay. Oh, these summon creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the deal is with all of this. Yeah, that's the thing. Perhaps defeating there's so much going on right now. Within this space will be the key to defeating the whale. Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. You, Ooh, yeah. Oh, use the power of Funa or also. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we definitely need kill uh, Fontaine said. characters to fight against oh, this boss. This boss looks really, really tough. Um, what happens if we, for some reason, can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay, this update actually helps with that problem. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the nice. difficulty of the boss if travelers are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Hopefully, this provides a smoother gaming experience for travelers to enjoy. Yeah, this is oh, definitely I one of the very few bosses that, that you come to force with. Now we don't need to worry stuck while trying to advance the main story. Totally. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is hey, going to be a um, tough that was one. A lot of information, wasn't it? Can we take a short little break while we have a look at the second redemption code, maybe? Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. That new weekly boss is going to be... It's definitely going to be way harder than the Raiden Shogun weekly boss fight and the Scaramouche weekly boss fight. Definitely way harder because you might need a Uzia and a Numa characters. You have to uh, to make it more smooth, I guess. Whew. Well, that's a lot of information, I must say. And speaking of which, right? Looks like uh, I might be pulling for Furina. Since I have, I still, considering the fact that I have quite a lot of um, resources. I'm, but here's the thing. There's a possibility that Raiden Shogun might... Okay, I'll, I'll stop talking. Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the version 4.2 special program. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay! I'm so, Buck. we've introduced new characters, new plot lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because yes, there's still more to come. Yes, Let's please. Let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside from investigating crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Mm, New nice. area, of course. <laughs> well, you know, maybe she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. Arena and excuses. <laughs> Typical. <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. It looks Whoa, like what the hell? is an Araneus forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the Opera House. What a cool place. Mm -hmm. Although, it does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Rania. As you can see, a strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex rising from the middle of the lake. It's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. And take a look at this. The foggy forest path. That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. <laughs> what about this area? The weeping willow of the lake. Ooh, I'm pretty sure we'll be exploring these areas during um, Furina's story quest. Quite right. Mm -hmm. Like it's cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. It seems like Verena also realized something was off. It looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh -oh. New mechanics? Speaking of, there are always new things to discover beneath Fontaine's waters. In this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic ball octopus. Ooh. Travelers can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contamination cores from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. In addition, okay. with the help of a special device, travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. Nice. It may be the key to solving certain puzzles or perhaps even powering certain objects. But we'll leave that for you to discover. Ooh. To learn right. more about the story behind the new Erinius Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called The Wild Fairy of Erinius. I'll give you a hint. Melusines are involved. Oh, okay. Melusines? Really? Oh, More Melusine backstory? It certainly be a world quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> to the south of Araneus Forest, you'll find the Mort region. There, a singular tower stands tall above an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Ooh. That means there's two Actually, it looks um, like that's new the areas. Very next stop on Farina's itinerary, so let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers <clears> noticed <throat> this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited that we finally get to check it out. Yes, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae. More new world quests. I know. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried secrets will be unveiled to us. Oh, amazing! Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes, I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> We all want answers! Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Hmm. It seems like there's a very important and very ancient story behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new life forms in other places where New Ascension material boss. Oh, oh destiny! This is Destinies. definitely a new Ascension material boss. Certain underwater cave new Most life likely for forms Furina. Up. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. And this is definitely a new um, Ascension material boss for Furina. Of events long past, no matter how long Considering the fact it's Hydro Element. So in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure quest climax. that was introduced over the last two versions. Mm -hmm. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. What? <laughs> a surprise! <laughs> I can't wait to see what it is. Same. All right, there's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map, but Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Oh wait, it looks like she's arranged to spend some time with her subjects. Aww. Subjects? Mm, Farina is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. Speaking of, let's move on to the event portion. Woo All right. The Fontaine Fishing Association oh. has recently posted a commission to investigate the rumors of water imps near Araneus Island. Ooh, another investigation. I know. Oh, oh and Fremine seems to be involved. That little clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. 
But okay. it doesn't look like Pear. Actually, its name is Thelxy. The name mm -hmm. comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. Adults would use the story to keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, children who play by the water are food for Thelxy to devour. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> well, children must be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? <laughs> it does seem a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin a name like that. There must be um, some other reason. Wait, uh, hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremenay make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. There will be a total of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair this is the penguin a flagship, by the, the flagship and reconnecting event for the motherboard. Version In return, the little guy will help us out on our journey. Oh, I Pretty love cool. that. Oh, puzzles. We'll collect colorful Brilliant. shells, corals, and other items which can be used to outfit our little friend with weapons and equipment. Which brings us to the second stage of the event using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Hmm. And, uh, you know, what what happens if we run into certain speed bumps on our adventure? You know, like monsters, puzzles, and all that jazz? <laughs> well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for our little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly! In the third stage of the event, the Clockwork Penguin will help us defeat monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures that they may be guarding. Of course, the Clockwork Penguin will provide different buffs in each battle to help travelers emerge victorious. Whoa. Okay. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. Let's see. After helping the Penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back! Cute Aww. little fungi. Hania, a friend we met in Sumeru, has arrived oh, okay. in Fontaine to promote Lil Fungi's fantastic fiesta. Oh, and speaking of fun, guys, <laughs> I think I recognize some familiar faces. <gasps> Fungo Head, it's time to shine! Yay! <laughs> Travelers may notice some differences in this update's fungi event. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Previously, we led the little fungi in battle against Mechanicai. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Oh, Ooh. awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, adjusting their movement to target different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. Basically, in, uh, yeah. an updated version <laughs> of an old event. hopefully enjoy playing with the fungi more than ever. Here's hoping. We, uh, actually, I have a little note here to pass along from our developer friends. The note, so... <laughs> well, we to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time, okay. the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. Oof. So, they're gonna continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. Yeah, yeah thank thanks. All right. Okay, let's take a look at what else Farina's itinerary has in store. Oh, it's the Graph Adversarial Technology Experiment Log. Okay. I'm more than ready to fight some adversaries. Let me at them! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. Okay. A researcher obsessed with graph adversarial technology has made great contributions to the study of counter-criminal image recognition. She believes that her research can help her achieve great success, but her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mmm, I'm guessing this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong, <laughs> but Pauline's request is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five different sample types that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh! Mm. That's right! It's the zoom lens we mentioned during Charlotte's uh, character introduction! Uh, oh, how fun! Okay. To use it, just equip the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, 
you'll be able to snap pics with zoom lens even while fighting. Wow. You nice. Can even use it in domains. Ooh. Only wow. if you're using uh, Charlotte. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I bet travelers will be able to capture Only if you're using Charlotte. moments in co-op mode too. Mm -hmm. And even if you miss the chance to participate in the event, there's no need to worry. Travelers will still be able to obtain the zoom lens. Charlotte is without a shower that one. Uh, uh, it's going to be a unique four-star character. <laughs> It seems like Farina has also learned of the existence of a domain shrouded in mist. <laughs> Travelers who master the leyline features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Now, less experienced travelers like myself don't need to worry either. Using trial characters and really, the Ray, of the buffs really? brought about by the leyline are also great ways to come out on top. That's right. And travelers who are more confident in their combat skills can choose to jump straight to the final challenge. <laughs> also, the Leyline Overflow event will return at the, the end of version 4.2. Now might be the perfect time to start building your parties. Hopefully, you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. But there are still more surprises to share. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I let's know. get into them. Well, before we get into them, let's what? take a quick break to have <laughs> no, a look at the face final redemption once again. code for today. See you in a bit! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Overall, the social program is alright. Uh, but I must say, the trailer itself is pretty mind-blowing though, as our doing the review as like what in what in the world is going on the story is, is definitely going dark and then right after this version program it's it's all um, relaxing but I will say this after watching the trailer for version 4.2 I will definitely check out the Archon quest and Furina's story quest and as a matter of fact right I will definitely um, will be pulling for Furina just because um, she's the, the Hydro Archon and then we'll see how things goes we'll see how things goes Welcome back travelers! Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary and it seems we've actually reached the end Aww, Aww. I know So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran while we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming version. Let's mm -hmm. get into it. Okay, so first up is the quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players who prefer to spend their time exploring may have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally. True. In version 4.2, travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. Okay. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, now we don't have to wait to advance the story before we can level up a new character's talents and skills. Exactly. Okay. Also, we're introducing an update to Genius Invocation TCG. Ooh. In version 4.2, three new character cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be an Accelerate Duel feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Oh, good. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, deck sharing codes will also be available. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration from other travelers. That's okay. cool. That's awesome. And, you know, since the number of card combinations just keeps increasing, the number of mm -hmm. decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. Nice. Doubled. Doubled. <laughs> Double. And in addition, both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from 2 to 4. Wait, Double I just again. realized. Double. Was that an ELO? <laughs> the developers have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated Battle Mode and the Forge Realm's Temper Endless Swarm will also return in version 4.2. Okay. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project okay, what team. Is this? May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. Uh, 
Plus, a new story keep privilege has also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests and hangout events. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yeah. Okay. Quest optimizations will also be available in version 4.2. The first one pertains to unlocking story quests. Travelers will now get to choose whether to accept a story quest after unlocking. They should have done this oh, way earlier. Nice, yeah. and hopefully travelers won't be overwhelmed by a sudden. They should have done this way earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the update has also made notifications about prerequisite quests even clearer, making it easier for players to proceed to certain content. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. Oh, and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version update. I guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special program to come to a close. Oh, I know. Cheer. <laughs> well, there's so much exciting stuff happening, and it's um, not bad. personally, aside from oh, all it's the not that bad. around the story and characters, I'm personally very jazzed for the fun guy event. Yes, how really? <laughs> They keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game. For me, I love the idea of the combat camera. Um, but uh, uh, for me and Monsieur Novellet, uh, we are here for the magazines. <laughs> uh, well, this has been so much fun with both of you. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how all these mysteries unfold. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. We'll um, see. But that's it for the version 4.2 special program. Thank you so much, everybody. And see you all in game. Bye. 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 Doodaloo. Dear Traveler, your audience with the God of Justice, Virginia of Many Waters, and the most popular celebrity in Arnold Fontaine, Lady Fulina, has been granted. The appointment time is November 8, 2023. Please make sure to come on time as Lady Fulina will be awaiting your arrival. November 8? Oh! The update! The date of the update. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, I think that's pretty much um, the end of the special program. It's not bad. It's not that bad. And like I said, I will definitely will be looking forward to the Archon quest, Furina story quest, and I will definitely will be pulling for Furina on November 8th. So do look forward to that.